This house behind me was built using a 3D printer. As 3D printing has gotten more popular, I always just kind of thought of it like this. Kind of cool, but kind of useless stuff that it's printing. And then I went to my orthodontist office and I saw how they have 3D printers to print out retainers. And I thought, wow, that is next level. 3D printers have hit their peak. And then I found out there's a company that has a giant 3D printer to print houses. Mighty Buildings is the construction tech startup company behind these beautifully printed sustainable homes. Last week on my channel, we explored extremely cheap old houses, and this week we're doing the opposite. We are getting into housing of the future. So today we're gonna go tour a 3D printed house, but I really want to propose to this company, me going to their warehouse and making a video, really diving into like how they are 3D printing these houses. So if you wanna see that, give this video a thumbs up. Giving this a thumbs up will help with you YouTube, then it'll get more views and then maybe they'll be interested in letting me do that. Technically, this is an accessory dwelling unit, otherwise known as an ADU. And these are pretty much meant to be in your backyard. This exact one was constructed using a hybrid method of 3D printing and prefabrication. My sister Shelby has a video all about prefabricated houses, so I'm just gonna let her explain. When you think about it, the way that houses are traditionally constructed is pretty inefficient. With a traditional house, they bring everything to the site and build it there. It takes longer, requires more people, results in more waste and higher cost. A lot of people compare it to the way that cars are built. If you didn't have a factory, cars would be built basically by taking all the pieces to the site, building it there. It would take a lot more people, more time, more materials. Instead, cars are built in factories on a production line, allowing them to be built much faster and at a lower cost than if you had to go around and individually assemble each one at someone's house. So prefab take that same idea of using a production line to be more efficient with both time and materials. Prefabrication makes so much more sense and it really is the future of housing. And now 3D printed houses are even more the future of housing. So how exactly is a house 3D printed? Mighty Buildings is producing its units by combining minerals and photopolymers cured under a UV light to create light stone material that the structures are made of. I know what you're thinking like, okay, but like, can a house really be made out of this? stuff, but actually the material is more resilient than concrete and more resistant to moisture, water, earthquakes, and is fire retardant. The entire 3D printed shell only takes 24 hours to print and cure. They then install fixtures and finishes, and the entire unit takes about two weeks to fully finish. On delivery day, your unit is craned in and fully ready to use within a couple of days and maybe even the same day, since most of the work was done in a factory. I'm at the Los Angeles Mighty Buildings pop-up and they're showing their studio unit. It's 350 square feet and it starts at $115,000. I love the look of this outside. Let's go check out the inside. opens up with two sets of these huge sliding glass windows. These are Anderson double pane windows. They make the space feel so big. They let in so much light and they give you that indoor outdoor living that everyone is craving, especially right now. This is really the bulk of the living space. Since it's a studio, they have a Murphy bed in here and it has a lot of really great storage, your closet space. And as you can see, there's really no walls. It's just like this big, huge wall of glass and it's incredible. This may be just a backyard unit, but these floor to ceiling windows really make you feel like you're in a luxurious sky high condominium. In a small space, it's really important that you still have somewhere that you can go that's not your bed. It's just healthy for humans to not constantly be sitting in bed. So this corner right here gives you that. If you need to do some work on a computer, if you just wanna read a book, hang out, maybe you have a guest over and it's like kinda weird if they just sit on your bed, you got this perfect little corner right here. I'm just never gonna be over these windows, I mean, wow. 
The studio unit comes with a kitchenette and I think they did a great job with this. I love that they went with white cabinets. So many places do dark cabinets and with such a small space, you don't want to close it down like that. You know, no door handles, just really minimal looking. I think it looks great. Usually I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't really like quartz that much. I think it's kind of basic, but I love this quartz they use. It looks awesome. I really haven't seen enough gray quartz. Nice big sink. You have a two burner stove. Microwave, of course. They put the fridge below as well. It's a, it's a nice feature, you know, it's hidden away and it doesn't make you go, oh, kitchen. And the backsplash, as you can see, is a mirror, but it's not just any mirror. It's a mirror with a TV. Th that is actually, these are expensive. That's a really nice luxurious upgrade that they did and I'm impressed. This is the future. Are you serious? You could be cooking, you could look up a recipe on your backsplash. I think that's so cool. There's a pretty ample amount of storage here. And this, you guys, this is what they 3D print. This is like the shell of the building. This was a 3D printed chunk that they have to show you. It's really heavy. <laughs> kind of smells like Elmer's glue. It's got this cool kind of texture to it and they actually exposed the shell in the bathroom with a little bit of the texture. So we'll check that out. For a 350 square foot space, I would have expected a pretty small bathroom, but you guys, this bathroom is spacious. It's bigger than my bathroom in my house, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> This is a dual washer and dryer, but I believe they also have a stackable washer and dryer that you could do instead. This bathroom doesn't have any windows because of course in a bathroom you want privacy, but I love how they have these LED strip lightings up here and here that kind of give you this illusion of a skylight. Like I actually had to check to make sure it wasn't a skylight. So it's really nice. It kind of, it's like you're in here and you feel like it's daytime. So it elevates my mood. And this is a huge bathroom. Over here, you've got a bunch of storage. You can open this up and it's just this really, really deep storage. And then this one you open from the bottom and it has more shelving storage. So that's really nice because then you can utilize the top of here. I am so jealous of this shower. It's nice and large. Even the tallest man is gonna enjoy this shower. It's big. Here is where you can see the actual 3D printed shell of the building. They brought the tile, you know, all the way from the floor to the ceiling. And not only that, but they extended it a good four feet out as well. And it just adds this really nice texture to the room that makes it feel more luxurious in my opinion. Even though the bathroom doesn't have natural light, the big windows really come in handy. You can just open the bathroom door if you want that natural light. Maybe you're just getting ready in the morning and you still have these huge floor to ceiling windows bringing in a ton of light into the bathrooms. So that's it guys. That is the small tour of the 350 square foot 3D printed prefabricated house by Mighty Buildings. I think this is their most popular right now, but they do have designs for bigger units that they're gonna be making in the future that look so cool. They have a three bedroom, two bathroom house. If you're interested in one of these, you gotta see it in person. It feels so good here. The photos, the videos, they're good, but they don't even do it justice. Like you gotta come see it for yourself. I love it so much. I really wanna own one of these one day. I wanna do a full video on why is it that you would invest in an accessory dwelling unit. So be sure to subscribe to my channel to see that in the future. And if you wanna learn more about Mighty Buildings, I'll have all of their information linked below. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it intrigued you a bit. I'll see you guys next week. Hi, I'm Betsy Sweeney and I bought a house for $18,500 in Wheeling, West Virginia. Here it is, folks, the $18,000 house. For that price tag, Betsy got 